DeepSeek, a Chinese AI startup founded in 2023 by entrepreneur Liang Wenfang, has rapidly emerged as a significant player in the global AI industry. Its AI assistant app, the latest version called DeepSeek R1, has quickly become the top free app on Apple's App Store, surpassing even established platforms like ChatGPT of OpenAI. So what are the key factors behind this huge impact that DeepSeek has had just in the last week or so? Number one, it's cost-effective development. DeepSeek's R1 module was developed for under $6 million. That is a fraction of the cost that is incurred by competitors like OpenAI and Anthropic, who have spent hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars for similar technology. There's also efficient resource utilization. The company, DeepSeek, trained all its models using less advanced NVIDIA chips, thereby showcasing significant engineering innovation. It used what is called the NVIDIA H100 chips, which are inferior in generation and in quality to the H800 chips, which are used by other companies. And significantly, this company took an open source approach to generative AI. DeepSeek's R1 mode is open source. What it does is it allows users and companies and developers to modify and to integrate this into other tools, fostering broader adoption and innovation. It's a bit like what Android did when operating systems came into the market for smartphones. So what is the comparison between DeepSeek's R1 model and OpenAI and ChatGPT? DeepSeek offers its AI assistant for free, whereas OpenAI has a subscription-based model where you have to pay up to $200 a year. The performance benchmark tests indicate that DeepSeek's R1 mode matches or sometimes even surpasses that of OpenAI when it comes to a series of tasks including problem solving, natural language understanding. So what may be the implications for the tech industry? DeepSeek's rapid ascent has caused significant disruptions in the tech world. It has led to substantial declines in the stock values of major companies like NVIDIA and Microsoft. NVIDIA, which makes these super chips and GPUs, lost more than $500 billion in its market value in just one trading day. This rise of a Chinese AI app has raised concerns about the potential shift of AI dominance from the United States to China. The recent model, DeepSeek V3, reportedly operates using just about 2,000 NVIDIA chips, which is significantly fewer than the 16,000 chips that are typically used by OpenAI or Google. This breakthrough has been called AI's Sputnik moment by venture capitalist Mark Anderson. Sputnik was, of course, the first satellite that the USSR put into orbit, put into space, much before America started developing its own space program. What he was trying to reference was the potential of DeepSeek R1 to disrupt what is the status quo in the world of AI. DeepSeek's ability to develop a world-class AI model using less advanced hardware and at a much lower cost demonstrates significant engineering prowess. The company's emphasis on efficiency and accessibility has enabled it to deliver a competitive product without the kind of extensive resources that are typically required in this industry. But it's not all a bed of roses. DeepSeek has faced criticism for censoring topics which are sensitive to the Chinese government. Users have reported that the app avoids or gives evasive answers to questions about events like the Tiananmen Square incident in 1989 or even issues related to Taiwan's sovereignty. Even questions related to India and China when it comes to disputed territories or the clashes that have happened recently between India and China, the app gives evasive answers. Now, this behavior aligns with Chinese regulations which mandate the censorship of politically sensitive subjects. The success of DeepSeek is viewed as a significant development in the global AI landscape, potentially signaling a shift in tech leadership. The app's rapid ascent has led to substantial decline in the stock values of major American companies, whether it's Nvidia, Microsoft, Tesla. Collectively, in just one trading day, they lost over $1 trillion in market value. DeepSeek's advancements have intensified the technological competition between America and China. The app's development, at a fraction of the cost incurred by American tech giants, challenges the effectiveness of U.S. export controls. It raises very serious questions about the future balance of technological power. 
Since 2022, under the previous Biden administration, America has restricted the export of high-capacity chips to China. What it did is it forced Chinese companies like DeepSeek to innovate. They also used older generation chips imported from Singapore to build their hardware models. DeepSeek's achievements could ignite a global race in competitive AI development. That would prompt other countries like India, for example, to accelerate their own technological advancements if they want to remain competitive. The emergence of DeepSeek may also prompt American policymakers to reassess their strategies when it comes to tech competition and trade relations with China. While there is no direct indication from China that it's trying to send a specific signal to President Donald Trump as he assumes office in a second term, the situation underscores the need for America to evaluate its approach if it wants to continue to be the technology leader of the world. Trump has threatened 10% tariffs on China starting the 1st of February. He may even consider upping that from 10 to 25% given the strategic signaling from China on generative AI. It may not be a coincidence, or maybe it is, that DeepSeek's R1 model, which has now disrupted the tech world entirely, was released on the same day that Trump took oath for a second term as president. It could also lead Trump to tighten the screws on the so-called tech bros, led by his Dodge chief, the owner of X and Tesla, Elon Musk, as well as others like Google's Sundar Pichai, Microsoft Satya Nadella, Amazon's Jeff Bezos, all of whom were there at his inauguration. Trump, just a day after the inauguration, announced a $500 billion Stargate AI strategic fund. It is the largest, single biggest commitment of funds that has been made by any government or private entity for developing AI. DeepSeek's cost-effective model, though, may force Trump to rethink committing such a large amount of money. US technology companies are likely to respond to DeepSeek's emergence by exploring more cost-effective methods to develop AI. They would also potentially consider open source models which will foster innovation. The situation may also lead to increased collaboration between the tech industry and policymakers to address challenges posed by international competition by powers like China in the field of artificial intelligence.